When solving the Schrodinger equation for a hydrogen atom, a special set of polynomials called Legendre polynomials pop up. These polynomials are also useful in numerics when approximating integrals. But there are also many other interesting properties such as recursive formulas, explicit formulas, and an expression for the generating function. In this video, we will derive the most important properties of the Legendre polynomials. Let's start with the following problem. We start with the sequence of powers of x. Now we want to turn this into a sequence of orthogonal polynomials over the interval from minus 1 to 1. We say that two polynomials are orthogonal over this interval if the integral of the product is equal to 0. This integral is called the inner product of the two polynomials. So, how do we calculate these polynomials? The process to turn the powers of x into an orthogonal sequence is known as the Gram-Schmidt process. This process works more generally for every inner product space. Let's start with a sequence of two vectors that are not a multiple of each other. We now project the second vector onto the first. This gives us a multiple of the first vector. When we subtract this vector from the second vector, we get two orthogonal vectors. This process works on any number of vectors. We set the first orthogonalized vector to our first vector. The kth orthogonalized vector can be calculated recursively by projecting the kth vector onto the vectors we have already calculated and by subtracting the projections. The Gram-Schmidt process gives us a concrete process to solve our problem of finding a sequence of orthogonal polynomials. Notice, however, that these polynomials are not unique, as we can scale them by any constant. To fix this, we introduce the normalization condition that the value at 1 should be 1. With this condition, the sequence is unique. Summarizing, we constructed the polynomials Pn such that Pn has degree n. Pn is orthogonal to x to the power of m, where m is smaller than n, and the value of Pn at 1 is 1. The second property is equivalent to the fact that Pn is orthogonal to any polynomial with degree lower than n. These properties uniquely determine the polynomials Pn. We call them Legendre polynomials. Let's plot the first few Legendre polynomials. We can see that the Legendre polynomials with even degree are even functions and the ones with odd degree are odd functions. We can also easily prove this property. Consider Pn of minus x. This is again a polynomial of the same degree. If we look at the inner product with any polynomial of lower degree, we can use integration by substitution to get an inner product with Pn, which is equal to zero. Since Pn is unique up to a multiple with these properties, Pn of minus x must be a multiple of Pn. When we look at the inner product with x to the nth power, we get that lambda is minus 1 to the nth power. This proves that the Legendre polynomials of even degree are even and the ones with odd degree are odd. Now that we have introduced the Legendre polynomials, we want to derive some more interesting properties. The following observation will be especially helpful. Using integration by parts, we get the following formula for the inner product. Especially, if x squared minus 1 is a factor of either p or q, we can move the derivative to the other side in the inner product by changing the sign. If we want to use this property repeatedly, we may look at the following polynomial, which has degree n. If we take the inner product of this polynomial with some polynomial, we can move all derivatives from the on side to the other side. If the degree of q is smaller than n, the nth derivative of q is 0, so the inner product is 0. By the properties of the Legendre polynomials, this means that the nth derivative of x squared minus 1 is a multiple of the nth Legendre polynomial. To determine lambda, we just have to look at the value of the polynomial at 1. With a generalized Leibniz rule, we get the expression as a sum. At x equal to 1, every term is equal to 0, except 1. We get that the value at 1 is 2 to the nth power times n factorial. Thus, we get this explicit formula for the nth Legendre polynomial. This is called the Rodriguez formula. With the Leibniz rule, we also get another explicit formula. Let's go back to our observation of the derivative in the inner product. If we differentiate, then multiply with 1 minus x squared, and then differentiate again, we are able to move the derivative twice. Let's call this L. L is a differential operator, so it takes one polynomial and returns another one. 
we have just shown that we can move L from one side to the other. Operators with this property are called self-adjoint. We may also notice that when we pass a non-constant polynomial into L, we get a polynomial of the same degree. Since the differentiation lowers the degree by 1 and multiplication by 1 minus x squared increases the degree by 2. So what happens if we pass some Legendre polynomial into L? When we take the inner product of this polynomial with some other polynomial, we can again push L to the other side. We know that this is equal to 0 if the polynomial on the right has degree lower than n. But this means that L of Pn is a multiple of Pn. So, how do we find the value of lambda? By taking the inner product with the nth power of x, we can evaluate L of the nth power of x. The lower power of x vanishes since it's orthogonal to Pn. Finally, we obtain that lambda is equal to minus n times n plus 1. This means that the nth Legendre polynomial satisfies this differential equation, or this alternative form. We call this Legendre's differential equation. For instance, it turns up in physics when solving the Laplace equation in spherical coordinates. If we plug in 1 into the differential equation, we get the value of the derivative of a Legendre polynomial at 1. So far, we were only able to calculate the Legendre polynomials by the process of orthogonalization or with the Rodriguez formula. Both of these methods are not very efficient when we want to calculate a list of Legendre polynomials. Is there a way to calculate Legendre polynomials recursively? Let's try to start with x times the nth Legendre polynomial and orthogonalize this. When taking the inner product with any other Legendre polynomial, we can push the x to the other side. If the m plus 1 is smaller than n, we get that the inner product is 0, as the degree of the polynomial on the right side is smaller than the degree of the Legendre polynomial. This implies that the n plus 1th Legendre polynomial is of this form, where alpha, beta, and gamma sum up to 1 by the normalization condition. Since we know that the left three polynomials all have the same parity, and the rightmost has the other parity, we can conclude that gamma is equal to 0. We can calculate alpha and beta by differentiating and plugging in 1. After some work, we get that alpha is equal to 2 times n plus 1 over n plus 1. When we plug this in our equation, we get the following formula. This is known as the Bonnet's recursion formula. Finally, we are going to encode all of the Legendre polynomials into one object, that of a generating function. So we define a function in two variables where the Legendre polynomials form the coefficients of a power series. When we set x to 1, we get a sum over all powers of t. This is the same as 1 over 1 minus t, if the absolute value of t is lower than 1. Similarly, we can set x to minus 1 and get 1 over 1 plus t. Is there some way to generalize this? Let's start off with Bonnet's recursion formula and multiply with the nth power to t. By rewriting this, we can get rid of the n in the coefficients by replacing it with partial derivatives with respect to t. By summing over all n, we get a differential equation only involving the generating function. We may notice that the first term on the right side looks similar to the derivative of the first term on the left side. So let's call the term on the left side h. The derivative of h is this. So we can rewrite our differential equation to get this equation. Now we can separate h and g and integrate on both sides of the equation. Finally, we get this expression for g. To find c, we are going to set t equal to 0. Then g is equal to 1, so c is always equal to 0. So we get this expression for the generating function of the Legendre polynomials. So let's sum up what we have proven. We started with the definition of the Legendre polynomials as orthogonal polynomials. Then we derived Rodriguez formula. After that, we characterize the Legendre polynomials as solutions of Legendre's differential equation. Next, we derive Bonnet's recursion formula and finally found this expression for the generating function of the Legendre polynomials.